Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. We had a great day. Today we're back in the office. Now, I've been doing a lot of traveling lately. Tons of videos are coming out. I'm like backlog weeks, basically, of, of daily content, which is insane. So stay tuned for all the videos coming out your way. And I have another major trip this weekend. So stay tuned. We're doing something. Uh, well, it's the first out there, and I'm very excited to put down some uh, world records. That, that's the goal, that's the goal. I wanna talk about the big news behind the new Corvette ZR1. Yes, the release date is finally here. You guys have probably seen it. It is July 25th of 2024, which is essentially less than one month away, starting from right now, from when this video is uh, being filmed filmed on the 27th, I think it is right now. July 25th is the date. Make sure to write that down on your calendar. Get ready, stay tuned because I think everything changes on that date. I can't wait. I know when the Z06 came out, it was another drop the mic moment. It just blew us away, that car. I think all they had to do was share with us the exhaust note and we were sold on it. I was actually there when they had the official backgrounders for the vehicle at the Peterson Automotive Museum. It was fantastic getting to interview Taj and also Aaron Link, some of the head engineers behind the Corvette Z06. And I hope I cross my fingers when we get the opportunity to do that again because I love giving you guys a background, just first look on these types of vehicles. And I have so many uh, engineering questions that I would love to ask the team, especially regarding building the ultimate CA Corvette yet. I, I was there starting from the beginning of this whole platform and working my way up through every single model from the C8 Stingray from 2020, the C8R, and then the Z06. It was really just exciting. I was going to order the Corvette E-Ray, but then a lot of things happened. And I ended up getting the McLaren 750 yet. I'm so happy I got that car. It's been incredible, but I did drive the E-Ray and I was very impressed with the platform itself. It just has so much going for it in terms of being new. You have the hybrid layout. You have front wheel drive, right? Nah, it's, it's all wheel drive, but there's a front wheel drive unit on the front axle. It is different. I believe with this new Corvette ZR1, we're gonna find more of that trend, more of what is different, because with this mid-engine iteration of Corvette, what have they really done here? Well, they have shown us that they are not afraid to take risks. Everything with this platform has really been designed and surrounded by risk-taking. We initially were dreaming of a mid-engine Corvette for, for such a long time, right? And then finally, finally, uh, for the C8, the eighth generation platform, they created it. Now, when you have a mid-engine Corvette that rivals exotic cars, what do you want to come with that? You want a flat plane crank. They've thrown all these different just dreams that we've had for the Corvette team to make, and they have made them into reality. If we look at the C8 Z06, the E-Ray, everything with these cars symbolizes new. If we turn our heads towards the ZR1, what are we gonna find there? Probably the same trend. What could they do? Hey, turbos would be new. If the future way ahead of us is going towards all electrification or hybrid vehicles, this is the time, now is the time for brands to take risks and to create a final hoorah to push them into the next generation. I really am excited. I think this car is gonna have an unbelievable amount of horsepower. I think we're gonna watch it and then we're gonna be speechless with the uh, cinematic edit they put together for the launch video. It's usually like that. It's sad to see Taj go. I know he just retired. Uh, I want to bid him a great farewell because he's just so influential with the Corvette platform and he, he worked on all these cars from C6, C7, more. And he's officially retired now. I'm curious what the future is gonna be like with new management as well. I think they, they disappointed the new chief engineer, which is really cool. I'm excited for that individual to get, get this role. I've had a lot of opportunities to meet a lot of engineers from a lot of amazing companies. And I have to say the Corvette, the Chevrolet team, it's they're really a group of people who are very passionate. They're passionate about what they're doing. They know their creations 
are impacting and changing lives for people all around the world, especially in the United States. It's cool to see from them the passion about making such a fun vehicle. I think the ZR1 is going to be the embodiment of everything they've worked towards so far with the 8th generation Corvette. If you look at the super wide contact patch we have, right, 345's out back, that's how wide the tires are on the Z06. We're going to probably have that same with rear setup on the ZR1. So plenty of rubber for cornering, acceleration, and even braking with the 275 front width tires. Now when you throw on the bigger wing or spoiler that you're seeing in all these spy shots from the Nürburgring. When you throw on really trick a uh, front arrow, especially with the hood compartment area, then new inlets right next to the boomerang side intakes. It's so cool how they can slowly just keep pushing the envelope further and further with the design of this platform. You look at the C8 Stingray to the Z06, the E-Ray, now to the ZR1. Isn't it incredible how they're able to turn one, let's say, kit car, right? And then make so many different evolutions of it. But all these brands, they're good at that. We know that. This thing is going to be exciting. I can't wait. I just want to share with you guys again my thoughts behind this reveal. I'm guessing they're probably going to do something live towards when it gets uncovered. They're probably going to have very well put together cinematic, let's say, films about the vehicle launching on their socials, that being Chevrolet, you know, Corvette. I'm hoping they have some sort of in-person reveal where people get to experience or see the car firsthand, kind of like what we saw with the Corvette Z06. It was at the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles and people got to see the car up close right when they were revealing it. My goal has always been dating back to the C8 Stinger when it first came out to work my way up through each model to use it for our purpose of going to the racetrack and sharing with all of you how they stack up and perform. My goal is to get this vehicle as always and whatever if this is a final version I'd like to keep this for the collection. If there is a Zora I would like to end up moving my way up to the Zora and keep that for the Speed Phenom Garage Collection because I just feel this is such an amazing time to be alive and I I think being a Corvette enthusiast and tracking my Corvettes as much as I have, I believe that the focus, the engineering, and the achievements are there. We just need to focus on this reveal around the corner and taking in the grand moment we've been waiting for so many years to happen. So congrats to the team for finally making it to almost the reveal date for the ZR1. Again, July 25th. Write it down in your calendars. I can't wait. And hopefully we get the chance to share with you guys behind the scenes with this vehicle doing what we do best. I just want to get your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think they're going to do this reveal similarly to the Peterson Museum reveal of the Corvette Z06? I know I got to meet so many amazing people at that reveal in Los Angeles. A lot of people actually met because they watched the channel. So it's so great getting to meet many of you Corvette owners and also fellow YouTubers that were out there. It was just fantastic. I liked it because it was just such a remote, just easily accessible location for a vast audience of individuals to come look at the car in person right when the mic is dropped and the vehicle is unveiled. To wrap up this video, here are my final predictions for the Corvette ZR1 and I want to hear your predictions so please let me know down below. First off, twin turbocharged, 800 horsepower, most downforce ever for a Corvette, most advanced aero for a Corvette, fastest quarter mile ever, fastest zero to 60 ever, and fastest lap times. Those seven big achievements. Do I want to go further and state quarter miles? Well, if the Z06 got a 10.6, the standard Stingray did 11.2, Z06 has 175 more horsepower. If we add on another 200 horsepower on top of that, I mean, could it dip below the nines? Maybe it's a 9.9 a .9 second quarter mile Corvette. Oh my gosh, that would be crazy. Let's say it's a 10 second flat or a 9.9 .9 second quarter mile 
core of it. Let me know what do you think down below of the stats. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. And subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. While you do that, hit the notification bell. Let's up to date with all the new videos coming out. I'll see you in the next episode.